Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Okay. Are you aging? No, I don't want to do that. Sorry. No problem at all. You scare me. Hey, I got the right property. I think you're with Evans, my friend. Evans, hi. Can you Hello. call me? Uh, I'm Evans' business partner. Would we be able to show our friend this apartment? He scares you. Why does he scare you? His attitude. Hmm. The way he talking. He's very professional. My tenant is English. Yeah. Ten years. Yeah. Very, very good English gentleman. Mm hmm Very good. I only trust English. You only trust English people, but you're not English yourself. Yeah, I only trust my, my, my partner is English. I only trust English people. My wife is African. I not trust. But if you don't trust anyone who isn't English, the, the business owner is Evans. And Evans is from the Caribbean. So if that's going to mean that you can't do business with him, then we can't do business. Because Evans is the company director. We'll probably have to call it a day. Jeez. So, she said that she won't do business with us because you're the company director and you're not English. These are the kind of things I go through, you know, sometimes. So I'm glad that you were there to witness it. I believe that you're interested in a couple of our rental properties. Um, you guys are subletters, right? Uh, yeah. And then what sort of um, clientele are you going to be getting into the property? What sort of profile of applicant do you sort of usually so, so it's going to be, you know, young professionals, they, they are well vetted and stuff. Alright, um, Evans, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you over a couple of properties across that are in Ealing. I am in the Ealing area, so if I do like it, I'll get back to you shoppish. Perfect. Alright, I'll send it over to you now. Alright, thank you, Muffy. Speak to you soon. Great to meet you guys. Thanks yeah, for letting yeah, us come yeah. around. Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah. The property actually looks, it looks alright. Uh, the location is obviously good. Yeah. Now, my thing is, is the landlord, is he, um, is he open to doing uh, guaranteed rent? Um, what guaranteed rent? Renting it to a company. Is he open to, uh, yeah, to the concept? Could be, could be. So long as your man there is a guarantor, yeah, why not? Because yeah. this was used as, as a rent to rent before, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Okay, cool. They're not doing anything illegal or immoral. That's, that's that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at me. I mean, do, do I look like anybody who's anything illegal? <laughs> you are okay with having a guaranteed rent for, on a corporate let as long as you know that the money's going to come in? Yeah, that's right. That's, yeah. that's exactly what they want. And, and, and okay. So, shall we, shall we make a deal? Why don't we just work out what the final offer we can put forward is then, um, and then no, and then let Mark the know. The figures have to be right, regardless. Yeah. yeah. Shall we show them seventy six or? It's up to them. I mean, uh, do you want to see the other? Yeah, one? Yeah, 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 that'd be great. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go see that. One. Thanks. Yeah. Seven hundred times five. I reckon we just send it, send our final offer at the end of the day. Yeah. Even go around now if they're in. Hello. Hi there. You okay? Uh, it's. Uh, yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, in regards to the property. Yeah. Um, is it possible I can go view it now? <laughs> oh yeah, are you there now? Uh, I'm literally here now, yeah. You're there now? Yes, correct. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, I'll see you soon. Okay, yeah. Um, well, basically, it'll be, it'll be a company let. Okay. See, so, yeah, this one's face. Cool. So this is the first double room. And it's got three rooms upstairs, and then two reception rooms downstairs. I really like this one, Samuel. It's got two bathrooms. Um, it's got, you know, it's very tidy, very clean, mm. modern. And for where it is, it's quite cheap. It is very cheap. They've advertised it themselves. Yeah. So you know. who's interested in having the property? It's, it, it'll be our company, and it'll be, we wouldn't Lovely. be How, living Samuel, here. How you give us the asking price? Well, that's, um, I mean, what's it on for, one, one six? Uh, why 1800? 1800? Yeah. Ideally, what is it that you really want? Well, yeah, it would be good to give to a company. Okay. Yeah, it would be good. Because mm. then you get, you know... It's, it's guaranteed, good. isn't it? That yeah, one? yeah, yeah, yeah. Other people just moving out after a few months. If we guaranteed the rent for, mm -hmm. say, three years with a three-month break clause, yeah. what would be the lowest you'd be able to accept and still live with if we could guarantee the rent? So no late payments, no management costs? That much, 1800 1800 is what it's on for. Yeah. Obviously, you, you wouldn't have to manage it. We would take care of all that. So we, you just get a straightforward uh, monthly rent. OK, you didn't talk to Mr Singh. Yeah, okay. OK. Yeah, you've got his number, yeah? Yeah, we have, yeah. Yeah. We'll give him a call in a bit then, shall we? Just work out the fine details. 
But thank you ever so much for coming over and letting us all right. look around. Great. Okay. Thank you so, so much. That's okay. And have you got any other properties or is that the only one that you've got? As a seven bedroom in um, West Ealing. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. available at the moment? Yeah. Oh. You want to see it? Yeah. We'd that would be great. Out. Yes. Right, we'll follow you down. Thank you. Thanks, Jess. Oh, I think that one's going to work. Always ask the question, what else have you Good. got? I liked that, I liked that, well done. Oh, I think that's going to work, that. So four beds, we'd rent each room out for about 700, yeah. smaller one, a bit less. They want 1,800, but oh, I'm very confident we're going to get. Yeah, 100%. We just need 2,000 pounds a month in rent to rents. 2,000 pounds a month in deal packaging, that's your four grand. That's enough for you to be able to rent your London apartment. That's what I'm thinking. This is my lunch and breakfast. Yes, wow. combined. Just the carpet needs it put in. Yeah. Okay. How we basically make our money, so with this for instance, this property, if we were to pay you a monthly rent, we would pay the landlord a guaranteed rent mm -hmm. and then we then manage it, take on all the hassle and responsibility and then we make a fee, you know, obviously we, we make a, um, a margin on it. We'll, we'll calculate it, but of course we need to make money on it. Yeah. Um, so we'll work out what we'd get if it was completely full. Yeah. And then we'll put 10% down for voids. Yeah. 10% down for maintenance. Yeah. 10% down for profit. Yeah. And then we'll then offer a guaranteed rent based on that basis. Okay. So we'll be getting a, a monthly, a small monthly profit. Yeah. We'll have to factor in costs. And hopefully we'll be able to take the pressure off a little bit of the of the, <laughs> of the so. tenant stuff. I hope so. But all right, well, yeah. real pleasure. I hope we can do business. I hope so. Uh, if yeah, the nice. numbers can work, yeah. um, as long as we're getting you know yeah. profit from it, yeah, of course. Um, and then from your perspective, you don't want the hassle. So yeah. we'll see what we can work out. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, see, no, you no, no, no. see you soon. Cheers. Yeah. Bye. We're gonna get a deal with them. Hundred percent. I'm really really excited. Um, it's recently been refurbished. It's an eight bedroom already licensed for 15 people. How far is it? Is it how far away are we from your house? About 10 minutes. Oh, nice. See, that's the thing. There are deals on your doorstep. I don't see nobody. And if, if you're not open to it, um, that's no problem at all. Just, just keep my number if anything changes. Well, I assure you, nothing, nothing's going to change. Okay, that's fine. Thanks for your call anyway. I appreciate okay. it. Cheers, bye. Yeah. Stuff him. You know what's happening now? When you become like more like, I don't care. Yeah, it's a company let. No, there's not a guarantor. But you know what? Here's what I can offer you. Bang, bang, bang. With confidence because you don't give a monkeys. You Why? Because you're prepared to walk away. Oh, you don't accept company lets. Now we're like, we got too many company lets. <laughs> Take a hike, bum. We're good. We're good, fool. Like, we got loads. We got too many houses to view. We. I, I can't even cope with how many estate agents and letting agents and landlords are saying we want a company let, we want a company let. 100%. So generally speaking, do you think it's better to email or to call agents? I, I, think, I think both. In fact, I think everything. I think you need to email, I think you need to phone, I think you need to just walk in to the shop. I think you need to go to viewings where you haven't booked the viewing and just knock the frigging door. I think what we're doing now is everything. Whatever it takes. Everything. It's like when you, when you go to war, you don't just go with one weapon, you go with your whole weaponry. So we need to go with everything, which is what we are doing, which is why we're going to get deal right now. And what, what, why does this sat-nav say 20 minutes? This one says 23 minutes. Why do we even have two sat-navs? Yeah, we're using this one. Just turn this around. Ima oh imagine what would happen if I work as hard as this. Every day. You should, man. Yeah. This is our seventh viewing of the day. Do you know the crazy thing is I actually thought I used to work hard until today. Hello, uh, Evan. Are you coming or not? Yes, um, actually what it is, we, we've obviously been stuck in, 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 um, in a viewing. Um. Also, just be careful of using the word obviously too much. Yeah. Especially when it's not obvious. <laughs> what we found is that letting agents find it really difficult to rent out three bed flats because most people want a one bed or maybe a two bed. But if we can turn the three bed flat and we can change one of the reception rooms into a bedroom by putting a bed in it and we can turn it into a four bed flat, we can then rent the rooms out, room, 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 room and turn it into a multi-let. So as long as we can get permission from the landlord, as long as we can get permission from the head lease, if it's a leasehold property, we can make really good monthly cash flow by renting it for a cheap rent because no one wants it, turning it into a multi-let and keeping the profit in between. To be honest, we're finding the three beds are really hard to really? shift at the moment, yeah. Our company, we've got, we have an overpopulation of people wanting to rent out our, yeah, yeah. our properties. Would, you, would, would the landlord be looking for like a long-term Yeah, I think it's like let. 48 with yeah, a... Yeah, yeah, with a bright clause in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he's, he's okay with yeah, that. Yeah. Cool. I think the landlord's pretty flexible, to be honest. 
And what do you think? Would there be any objections if we if we had um, people if we had people in the rooms mm -hmm. like a multi let? Would that be? Do you know if there's any restrictions on the lease or anything to stop that happening? I don't think so. No, I spoke to my manager about it this morning. She said it should be fine. Should be okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. I think this. I think this one. Yeah, could, could work. work. It's a good, really good location. Mm -hmm. So what I really like about three bedroom flats is that you can turn the fourth living room reception room to a fourth bed and the best thing about it is that you don't need an HMO license. Because if, if we can rent these for like $17.50 a month, well then we can rent out the rooms for $7.50 each. $7.50, that's £3,000. Yeah. That leaves us with over £1,000. Yeah. We're going to pay the bills. We have a little bit of bits and bobs. We should be able to easily make a minimum of five hundred pounds profit, yeah. maybe even seven hundred pounds profit. Oh, it looks really nice though. This this does, yeah, tidy. It's good. I do prefer this one. Even I liked the last one, but this one. Which one are you more motivated to, to let? Either anything at this time of year, to be honest. With this one, would it be the same story with the landlord? He'd be happy for yeah. us to rent it out on multi as a multi let yeah, yeah, on a corporate let. Okay, cool. Oh, I like it. Yeah, money in the bank.